Hi guys, good morning. Oh, it was half past six in the morning and um, I had another bloody sleepless night. Well, not sleepless actually, but um, I don't know many of you out there having trouble sleeping um, and having weird dreams, you know, meaningful dreams, weird but meaningful. Um, because the last six weeks have been really intense, haven't they? For a lot of people, I know, um, they've been very intense. Hold on a second. No? Oh, yeah. No? Okay. Um, yeah, even even my cats have been completely out of sorts. I had to take Lumi, the white cat, for his uh, his annual lion cut, which I do not do for vanity purposes. As, but I do it because he doesn't wash himself because he was a stray and he was in a terrible state. He looks a bit like Bob Marley, but... Um, so he got out of the habit of washing himself here. Okay. All right, come on. Go on. Oh, all right, there you go then. Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> Cats. The minute I close the door, isn't it? Yeah, when it was open, of course. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Oh, I'm not going to edit this out because you just can't be bothered. Um, cats, you know, the minute the door is open, it's like, no, no, I don't want to go through, but when it's shut, oh, it's a door shut, door shut. Can't have that, no, no, can't have that, must be open. Bloody cats. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, Looms had to have his, his, his lion cut, and um, the day after that, he had to go to the vet for a checkup, and he was in a complete state for days after that really was he was hissing at me he wouldn't be picked up and that's not my looms he's not normally like that in short in short everything is way 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 off now i haven't done a video for about two weeks i think because i myself have been going through some major soul mining as it were massive stuff i mean some really really heavy deep dark shit has been coming up that i've had to um process a lot of people call it purging but i hesitate to do so because it isn't a case of just getting rid of it like i always talk about i call it alchemizing it's stuff comes up that has been there in the epicenter of our being for a very long time we were probably born with it we inherit our ancestors shadow we inherit the collective wounds the, the trauma and so we're born with this shit and so you know the last six weeks have been massive and a lot of people have been completely out of sorts every time i've had to go out there out there it's been hell on fucking wheels people are volatile to say the least people's driving is fucking weird and bad and scary um nature itself seems out of sorts everything is weird there are many strange signs and portents in the skies above our heads some are clearly belonging to, you know, dark forces. The, those massive dark triangles that we get are not of the light and they belong to the forces of, of darkness, as, as it were, of this planet and this realm. But there are lots of other ships, light ships, and incredible, beautiful sky phenomenon, phenomena, whatever, um, which resonates with me and is, is very very good that was a really beautiful ice uh, crop circle which i thought was pretty good anyway getting to the point <laughs> mm. can't find you without my coffee um it's been a couple of months but i think i mentioned the phrase that we cannot enter heaven with the consciousness of hell and now this has been a major theme for me because 
about a year ago I was sitting in a car in a car park and I was wondering about manifesting not in the way that the law of attraction talks about at all but I was thinking about manifesting because I was thinking about this world and how brutal it is, how stunted it is, how it's all about severe imposed limitation, how short we have our lifespan is, how sick we all are, how depressed everybody is, how fat everybody is, how life is a constant um, experience of being fed off of. You, you've got to work, you've got to earn money that you then give back to the powers that be because it's for bills and it's for your rent and it's for your food and it's for your clothes and it's for this and it's for this and it's for this. It's, you know, you, you go to school to be completely mind controlled and MK Ultra, you know, that's what schools do. They MK Ultra our children, you know, not mine because I haven't got any, thank God, I don't want children. Um, and we're surrounded by these spiritless people that will just literally blah blah blah. Notre Dame is a case in point. I mean that fucking thing burns down. Who cares? I don't. Yeah, it's a beautiful building but you know it stands for everything that is not of the light and I'm sure that A they were insured and B the Vatican is fucking loaded so then they put this thing out, this meme of oh you know, all the good people, all the wonderful good people get together and give us your money so that we can rebuild Notre Dame. And what do the organic portals do? They give their money. They give their money. Oh, yes. These are the people that believe in paying taxes and they believe in becoming soldiers because oh, we must fight their wars for them. And they believe in all the fucking shit that is this reality they they love it all you know oh i'm gonna buy that beautiful retirement um apartment look at it there's pictures of people with glasses of wine and they're really old but they look great it's all advertising it's all bullshit and anyway this whole notre dame thing is disgusting um or the fact that they're netting trees and hedgerows and putting spikes on trees so that birds can't nest in them <laughs> the dark side is now more amplified than it ever has been and we see it all around us we see it amplifying itself we see it we see and know and feel it and so we are now in a world that it's almost as if you you've been flayed alive and you're being touched it's like a massive raw fucking wound and you think I cannot fucking be in this world I can't be here anymore because it is beyond language in its awfulness in its horror and that causes a lot of feelings of hatred of rage of being powerless because no matter what we talk about, how we talk about it, we, you know, you go on Facebook or any social media platform and there's all these people talking about what the dark side is doing with photos and illustrations. Because they think that by doing that, they are helping the cause. And up to a point, in a sense, they are, because people need to awaken to that. We do, all of us. We, it is part of our path to have our eyes open, though many will not open their eyes, no matter what you do. But then, of course, they're not real, and so they wouldn't, they're just AI programs. Anyway, I digress yet again. Um, the point is that this whole conspiracy business, this whole business of pointing out what the dark side is doing, and banging on about that, day in, day out, day in, day out, rah, 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 it's like doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting different results because I am telling you this now and I know this because this is what's been shown to me in my dreams, in my visions, in my knowing that victim consciousness will continue to perpetuate all this shit. It will not help us anymore. It is time to let go of all these beliefs that make us feel this hatred and this rage because all hatred is self-hatred ultimately it really is 
and I know that this is going to trigger people. I just know this because there are so many people. When I did my last video, which was clear all victim programming, I got some very strong reactions from people who clearly have a lot of victim programming that they just don't want to let go of because they're addicted and they're entrenched in that, in that frequency of resistance, aggressive, hating, vengeful type of type shit and hating other people and hating the organic portals and that state of consciousness and the the accompanying uh, excuse me uh, that's all I have to say about that the accompanying um, energies the accompanying uh, distortions of that um, create more of the same. In other words, we're full of this poison. We are full of it, people. We are full of, I'm a powerless victim and I hate myself. But most people don't want to look at that. They don't want to take responsibility for that. They just want to go, oh, no, 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 it's out there and they're doing it and they, I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. It's all a fucking trap, a self-perpetuating dark catch fucking 22 people and if you keep playing that game you're going to keep getting what you have always gotten if you keep putting poison into this equation this shit inner as well as outer will not change it will get worse and worse and worse it's as simple as that we are at a crossroads i see crosses fucking everywhere every fucking where and i know what it means we need to choose now consciously in full awareness to let go of our hell consciousness. We need to keep going in there and we need to keep alchemizing that shit. We need to in all brutal honesty with ourselves address all that shit that is within us that perpetuates evil in this world. The reason that it's all ramping up as it is, the reason for that is because it is showing us, mirror, showing us what is really lying within. And as we are now at the epicenter of it all, it gets fucking dark. Inside it gets dark because the more you go inside, the more you alchemize, harmonize and integrate, the more you do that, the deeper in you go and the darker it fucking gets. I keep saying this. The deeper you dive, the higher you soar. For that reason, you have to get rid of the shackles that bind you in hell. Because this realm is fast becoming more hell-like by the day. And it is a direct reflection of what lies within us. A lot of people don't like to hear that. They don't want to take responsibility. They don't. They, they are so addicted, and, and I'm not saying I'm not because to a massive degree I am. However, I am aware of this feeling, this icky, crank feeling. Oh, they're doing it, I'm really shit. All the, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. And I mean, over the last six weeks, I have literally had to be with that, acknowledge that, and make a conscious choice to say, you know what, I am letting this go. What lies beyond that door? Because there's always emotional stuff lying beyond that door of resistance. And a lot of it is self-hate. The virus, evil, the archons, the mind parasites, like us to hate ourselves. They like that. They love that. Because people that hate themselves, people that feel themselves victims are perfect to be um, perpetuators of the sickness. And that is where the Archons live. I have said it before. This world is now becoming... The, it, it, it is the mirror. It is the old... It, it's, it's, it's same old, same old, only, you know, massively amplified and very acute. Now, now is the time the perfect time, the time, to address the deepest, the darkest, the last of the fucking shit in there. It's in there, people, and what is in there, you will see out there. It is the same thing. 
it is the same thing. That is the fact. So it is time, because rather than addiction, perversion, hatred, rage, vengeance, fucking stupid people, stupid organic portals. I mean, that, that, that Notre Dame thing triggered me in a massive way. All these people donating money and I'm sat here and I felt a surge of rage and hate. I mean, literally, I imagined myself at an AK-47. <laughs> And then, after, and then it, the, the scenario is that, and you think, whoa, because how is that going to help this world? Do you think that's going to help? No, it isn't. It's not. <laughs> it's not going to help anything at all. You are just, and I was just putting more of that shit into it. And that is what the Archons fucking want, people, see? That is the prison. We create the prison every day. We create this shit every day. It's us. It's our responsibility. We are powerful creator beings. Powerful creator beings are creating shit right now because they are in a misunderstanding state of I've been abandoned and I'm shit and I'm worthless and I hate myself. And there's all chaos and confusion and few going on because the iconic mind parasites don't want us to see that, but we are seeing it. And we are strong enough to say, you know what, I'm going to own this shit, I'm going to own this fucking stuff, I'm going to take responsibility because, you know what, I want to be a conduit of the power of love and the Great Mother, yes, because this shit, this shit, no, it won't, it, it, it's unacceptable, of course not, I mean, we want to manifest reset, which is heaven, which is a magical occurrence of something that is beyond words, beyond language, because words and language are of this limited, stunted realm. And it's also hijacked our imagination and our ability to use our imagination to create, but all that will come back to us. But first, we have to clear the last of this dark, heavy hate and rage and victim-filled barrier shit, obstacle shit, whatever, it has to be cleared, people, and, and that's where we are at. So, oh, I mean, it, it amazes me that, 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 you know, that so many people out there in the conspiracy field that think that David Icke or they themselves are going to heal the world by banging on again and again about all the evil that's happening. But how the fuck can you heal the world if you will not heal yourself, you know? So, it's trigger time. So every time you go out or you switch on your computer or whatever it is you do, you will find yourself being triggered. For a lot of us, that is the case now. Everything triggers us. Everything. Because the world is ramped up now and it's time to make the ultimate choice. And the choice is this. Let it go. Let go. That feeling of, ah, ah. You always have a choice. Ah, let go. Sometimes it may take a whole day of inching into it and allowing ourselves to let go of this hate, to let go of this vengeance, to let go of this rage, to let go of this resistance, to let go of the fucking fear, the heart palpitating fear of, but this is going to happen or that's going to happen, but my body is sick, so what's going to happen with that? Because by the way, I believe that all disease, all disease, all illness, old age included, are manifestations of our consciousness. It's all beliefs and programs and it's victim consciousness and it causes disease and it causes old age and in the reset whoo, clean slate people no problem whatsoever. So if we want to heal and if we want to see this world transform we need to take responsibility for the state of our consciousness and we do this by being aware that we have a conscious fucking choice in each and every fucking moment. So we get triggered all the time now. This is meant to happen. It gives us the opportunity to see exactly what we need to release. 
And so we need to keep releasing and releasing and surrendering and surrendering. A lot of people get really edgy and angry when they hear the word surrender because they think it means that you're letting evil win. Because we have been given, very clever, and you see the iconic mind parasite, we've been given this idea that evil must be, we must fight evil, we must fight it. You know that public enemy song, fight the powers, fight the powers that be. The whole system actively encourages us to fight evil, knowing damn well that by doing that you're actually fucking feeding evil. So stop doing that, people. Love is very powerful. I know this because I've seen it many times. Release. Acknowledge. Feel, oh, this is what I'm feeling. Oh, this is what I'm thinking. Oh, that's the programming. That's the belief because this happened to me or that happened to me or I don't know what happened to me but I know I'm feeling this. But I'm letting this go. I choose to let this go and I choose to allow some love in here because I love myself. I am precious and I am off the power of love. We are loved. We are love. You see? And all the good and beautiful and magical and wondrous happenings are very real and are very possible. Right? We live in a reality that is much, much, much more magical than we were given to believe. Oh yes, <laughs> but the hijack, you see. So it, it, it truly is about making choices, people. And this, this means that we have to have boundaries with that inner fucking shit. When it comes to punishing ourselves and attacking ourselves, you know, what do you think worrying is? <gasps> oh, oh, what if this happens? No, what if that happens? And in fact, somebody said this to me again the other day. A friend said, oh, well, it's always better to imagine the worst and then you won't get disappointed. Oh boy, that's victim consciousness, man. That makes you live in fear all the fucking time. No wonder we're filled with rage. I mean, it's like this big dark hand just crushes us every minute of every fucking day throughout our fucking lives and it teaches to be that way. They pump hell consciousness into it, into us because they are full of it and so this is the chain, the slavery chain of victim consciousness and the only way to break it is to release it. Detachment. Dis entanglement to to say I'm not doing that I'm not playing that game and it's so addictive I know it is believe me I know how addictive it is but we will not get anywhere by holding on to hell consciousness by victim consciousness we will destroy everything that is what this is we've had all these people trying to change the system right the world We've had countless revolutions, we've had this, we've had that, we've had it all, and it hasn't achieved a fucking thing, it never does, ever. The only thing that can change everything is the power of love, which is magic. I've seen it, I know that it works. Love, the power of love, will sort this out. For that, we have to choose love, we have to choose to surrender, we have to choose to let go, we have to choose to allow ourselves to trust a little bit, to tune in. Oh gosh, I feel a little better now. You know, it works that way. It works that way. And so these triggers bring it all up again and again and again. So we have our work cut out for us, it's not going to be easy. It's, it's, it's very heavy and very dense stuff coming up through these triggers. So let's keep letting it flow, let it, letting it go, letting it flow. And remember people, love protects and fear, victim consciousness, attracts more darkness, will manifest more darkness. So it's up to you. Choose the light or choose the dark side. I mean, pfft. these are very pivotal, very acute times. It is happening now. Now, 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 now. I can feel it. 
it has a frequency, it has a feeling, it's very high pitched. This is the, the, the ultimate battle, the final battle, and we are all a part of that in whichever way, <clears throat> you know, according to uh, each and every individual. You will find that if you have real trouble letting go, it will get to a point where you simply, you make yourself so sick with carrying around all that rage and all that self-hate which you project outwards onto organic portals in the world. <laughs> like I was doing for a, for a little while there with the Notre Dame people. I was like, you fucking assholes, I fucking hate you all. I, I really felt very strongly. <laughs> and it was like, all right, let this go. Because you see, it, 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 you will find now, because such are the times, you will find now that holding on to this victim consciousness, this hell consciousness will actually make you sick and if you are already sick because of it, it will make you even sicker. That is what it does. This hell consciousness will make you very, very sick and you will find you simply can no longer hang on to it. You will have to let it go and the minute you do, you start to feel a little easier and that will grow and you will start to feel easier still and you will start to see shifts happen in your field. So, you know, that really is all I have to say today, people. You know, um, all the, 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 the and, and just be aware of all the crap that uh, all the memes like, oh, um, you have to be in the world, but not of it. No, we don't. We don't have to be in the world and not of it. We're not martyrs. We're not here to save anyone. Mm -mm, no. This is all about me or you or you or you. It's about your consciousness. It's about your quest. We never ever have defeated evil by fighting it. We feed evil by fighting it. Evil is defeated by simply letting it go and, and just and focusing using our power to focus and nurture and let love grow and forgiveness imagination dreams there's all kinds of stuff going on anyway mm. Mm. See, love will give us, it will give us clarity, it will give us support, it will give us inspiration, it will give us creativity. It will work magic. Whereas hell consciousness will continue to feed into the darkness of this world and, um, you know, you will go down the toilet with that. Anyway, I'm done. I'm done for today. This is all I have to say and you know what to do and um, yeah, choose love people, love is powerful, love can transform, love is the great healing, the great healing is reset, that is why we are here and that is what we need to do now. Thank <laughs> you.